Hey guys, welcome back. Time for another feedback show. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric and this will be our weekly feedback show. Tick says, great video, love your channel. You should try Radio World in Toronto. How did the scanner antenna work out with the SDR? Did you do a video on that? Thanks, TC. Hey TC, actually I didn't do any specific videos to using the scanner antenna. Uh, I just use them in basically all my receiving vids that you've seen. I use that Comet Disco and antenna for everything besides weather imaging sats. The weather imaging sats, I, I use the QFH, but yeah, it works great, and I'll uh, I'll check out the website you sent. Ringway says, awesome work, Eric. What is the output power on this transmitter, and what is your plan for an antenna? I don't have the specs for that transmitter handy, actually. You can check the data sheet on it. As for the antenna, I have no plans to even add one at this point. They are more than capable without an antenna. Uh, we'll do some videos upcoming and I'll maybe show you some of the concerns I have with it on, uh, on some harmonics and intruding into other frequencies. William said, sorry I missed it. I thought I'd be able to make it, but it got hung up. Hey William, no problem. Uh, gonna be a live cast every week, so hopefully you can make it. Any chance to see cool tutorial on installing and using multi-PSK for CW decoding? Absolutely, I can probably do a tutorial on that at some point. I haven't covered CW or much with multi-PSK, so uh, added to the list. Wrecking Yard says, good stuff Eric. I'll have to go back and view the video on the isolation transformer. 26 years ago a buddy and I tried to diagnose my old 2TV and burned up the ground wire off the scope probe. Suffice it to say, we got lucky. Yeah, for sure. Easy mistake to make. People forget that the BNC connector actually provides a, a mains earth for the scope probe uh, ground lead. Uh, any misplacement of that to anything higher potential than zero and you made a short dead to ground. Wesley said, I would love it if you started a podcast for the live shows, audio only, that way I could listen in the car while driving around town, etc. I have a hard time seeing your live shows because my schedule is so sporadic, but if you took out audio only and made the podcast, that would be awesome. Thanks, Wesley. I had no idea that there was that much interest in the podcasts. I, I've never been into them myself, so uh, I'll definitely look into doing that. Uh, we're adding it for the feedback show right now, and... Uh, We'll see what we can do going forward. Bob says, best of luck getting your amateur radio license. I would love to see your next balloon show up on APRS or have some kind of downlink. There was an amateur radio balloon launched by Mike Oscar X-Ray Echo Romeo, which circled the globe many times. Really enjoy your channel. Thanks, Bob. Really, uh, really appreciate the feedback and the kind words. Yeah, I don't know whether we're going to do an APR transmitter or not. It's entirely dependent on a lot of things. I have two GPS downlinks in the last balloon launch. Actually, I set up a live web page and uh, I sent it out via Twitter live. So APRS would be nice though. Art said, what type of servo are you using, please? Hey Art, I'm just using the standard servos that are recommended on the InMove site. I didn't have a chance before this video to check the model number. They're an MG uh, model, I believe. You can check it out on the InMove.fr website. Greetings, Eric. Which USB dongle do you have for this setting? I saw other things on Amazon. Thanks. The SDRs I use you can find in a video on my channel under the SDR playlist on how to buy SDRs. At the end of it I show a link to the exact ones that I use most often, the basic $10 R820Ts. I'm a brand new ham and just got the UV5R as my first handy talkie. I still have a lot to learn but love trying this. I assume you're on 2 meter. Are you scanning the frequency or does the satellite have to be entered like a repeater? Well, if you want to talk to the satellite, that's exactly what you do. You set it up as a repeater because that's exactly what it is. If you just want to listen like me, you just program in the downlink frequency, start at the higher than the downlink and work your way down to correct for Doppler and it's it's super easy. There's nothing to it. Just a downlink frequency. Patriot Prepper says, great video. I just received my H107D and the transmitter hogs the batteries. I use the same voltage regulators to run DIY LED lights for the solar system. I cannot wait to apply the same idea to this transmitter. Thanks for sharing slash posting. Thanks Patriot. Really glad you enjoyed the video. Glad it was of help and it works great for me. So uh, enjoy saving some money on some AA batteries. Hopefully by now, Eric, you will found the advice at habhub.org and will have bunged the spot tracker into the bin or 
for your motor car. Actually, we launched the high altitude balloon. There was, I think, 14 videos or more in all, and we had good success. The, the spot trace did end up doing the job. It didn't work the best during the flight, but it came through in the end. So did the cell phone tracking. Uh, I didn't scrap either one of them. I carried through with my testing and everything worked out great. We hit 58,000 feet. Next flight, hopefully over 100. Morwick said, what a great show. Eric is a nice dude and needs help doing his Tech Talk live shows. Lots of people enjoy it. Thanks very much. Appreciate the kind words. Glad you guys like the Tech Talk live shows. I really enjoy doing them because that's my face-to-face -face time with you guys. Uh, this week we had some Skype calls and got lots of questions answered and I saw a lot of collaboration in the chat answering each other's questions. It was totally awesome. Jamie said, hi Eric. I just subbed after following BWS web link for the Hubson remote lipo conversion. Great channel. I use a lot of Arduinos into RC work and live around electronics working up to develop on my own channel over this year Jamie. Hey Jamie, really glad you found my channel and really glad you're starting your own. Uh, the more we share our projects, share ideas, the further along we can come, faster we can make things. It's just totally awesome to collaborate on YouTube uh, and the content's there forever. It's a really easy way to advance our knowledge. I really enjoy it and I'm all the best with your channel. Really glad you made it. That's it for today, guys. Really glad you could join me. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Please remember to uh, click the thumbs up button down below if you like these videos. It really helps out. Cheers, guys.